In previous video, we have learned about some very basic stuff about current transformer like what is it, how it works and its use in our day to day life. Welcome to my youtube channel Thakar Ki Paatshala and today we will clear our concepts further and we will explore topic like types of current transformer, burden and error in current transformer. If you are interested in this type of content then hit that subscribe button along with that bell icon. It will send you notification every time I will upload a new video. So without wasting time let's start the discussion. First of all, we will see types of city. There are basically three type of city available in market. First one is wound type, second is bar type and third is window or toroidal type. So what's the difference between them? Let's start with wound type current transformer. In wound type current transformer, the primary and secondary both winding are present. Primary of this type of current transformer is connected in series with line carrying actual current. Advantage of this type of CD is that designer can make unit with low current ratio, have better accuracy and burden capabilities. Wound type current transformer is the most effective way to achieve the desired performance, especially for the low current ratio requirement. Now we will see window or toroidal type current transformer. In this type of current transformer, there is no primary winding. Instead, the wire which is carrying current acts as primary winding itself. The core in this type of city is a band of magnetic grade steel concentratically wound upon itself. This is an extremely efficient core design which has no break or gaps in the magnetic path. Among all type of current transformer, this type of current transformer is very popular. Now it's time for final type which is bar type. There is not much difference between bar type and window type current transformer. You can see from the image that only difference is that a true bar type current transformer is a window type current transformer with a bus bar as an integral part of current transformer which is permanently inserted through the window of the toroid. Here bus bar serve as a primary conductor. Next topic is burden in current transformer. Burden in current transformer is termed as permissible load on secondary side of current transformer which is rated in volt ampere. Let's see what is the importance of burden in current transformer is. Burden, it is very important because in practice nominal ratio of current transformer which is rated primary winding current to rated secondary winding current does not remain constant due to various kind of reason like power factor on secondary side, core loss component, secondary side current etc. So burden is permissible load specified on secondary side of instrument transformer at which the value of error do not exceed specified value. Last topic for this discussion is error in current transformer. There are mainly two type of error in CT. One is ratio error and second is phase angle error. Let's take a look at ratio error. We all know this famous transformation equation for any transformer which is I1 divided by I2 is equal to N2 divided by N1. So theoretically current ratio should be in proportion to the turn ratio of transformer. But in practice it is not so. Current ratio is not in exact proportion to the turn ratio of transformer due to various factors like power factor, magnetization, core loss etc. So we can say that transformation ratio is not constant and can heavily depend on factor like core loss, power factor, magnetization due to this error occur in measurement which is called as ratio error. Equation to find ratio error is like this percentage ratio error is equal to nominal ratio minus actual ratio divided by actual ratio into 100. There is one another error which happen in current transformer which is called as phase angle error. This is somewhat complicated so please pay a close attention to this otherwise you will be confused. For accurate a measurement in current transformer it is must that secondary current should be exactly displaced with angle of 180 degree from angle of primary current. But again due to factor like power factor the angle displacement of both current is not same. So error occur in measurement which is called as phase angle error or phase error in current transformer and it is denoted by theta. Equation to find this error is like this theta is equal to 180 upon pi im cos delta minus ic sin delta divided by n into is. Here im is magnetizing component of no load current, ic is core loss component of no load current and is is secondary side current n is called as turn ratio for transformer. So guys that's it for now. I hope you have liked this video. If so then hit that like button. Share it with your friends and in your college groups. Also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We will meet in my next video.